Sorry. What is it? Sugar boy. What the? What the hell are you? How did you get into my room? You should be that one. I'm scared of playing with that one. Because of the baby, make it this. I don't flush him. No worry, your baby is back now. Don't uh, mind if, 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 if you touch me. Brush shoes, Uncle B. Oh, oh, oh. Now you know your uncle. No worry, small baby. Go outside there. Eh? Allow uncle and big baby, eh, to do small things. When we finish, we will call you. Yeah. Excuse. Yeah. Uncle Faith, who the hell is this? I, I, I don't know her. I, I, I don't know who she... Who the hell are you now? What if they talk like this now, she? Eh? Ah. I'm not because of success. No worry. I'm not because of success. You know me, I'm not be jealous lover. Ah. Two of us, we they run out together. I'm not going to complain. Ah. Not be me, are you again? Stop! <laughs> what? What is all this? See, I don't... This person, I don't know what is going on there. I don't understand. Bri <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Bri, look, this is a setup. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Shh, come, come. Where did I? Because if they paid you to die, I will, I, I, I will, I will gladly help you. What? Lock that door. You mean Lock that door and make sure she does not go anywhere. Door? Can you imagine this rubbish? What the hell? Who are they? You need to call police. Oh, no, 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 don't worry. It's okay. It's okay. Just, make, just make sure she does not go. I, I know it's like that. Hello? Make if she escapes! If she escapes! No! Give it up! Um, you're here to see my dad, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Just, I'll go get him. You want anything to drink while you wait? No, no, I'm fine. Thank you. Not as much. I beg your pardon? Nothing. Hey, young man. Just... Uh, how are you? Good day, sir. Good day. How is everything? Fine, sir. You are here for the parcel, right? Yes, sir. Um, dad, I'll just be in my room. No need for that sunshine. Um, something came up. I have to rush and keep up with an appointment, I'll be right back pretty soon. So, um, I know. I wanted to keep him company while I go and come back, okay? Um, Harry. Sir. Bridget will keep you company, okay? Uh, entertain him, please. All right? I'll be right back. to keep trying. They are our children. We can make this work. He couldn't work out for us. I feel we can still keep the bones strong by making our kids do what we could not achieve. I really wish we could. But you left. I told you I was coming back for you. Yeah. You never made any effort to keep the conversation alive. I was only gone for three years. And you threw everything that we shared under the rock. You told me you loved me. But I did love you. I did. And I still do love you. Oh, please. We shouldn't be talking about this right now. Why not? Does this look funny to you? Lambert. I am a happily married woman. To a man who can barely take care of you. Uh, do you know I'm laughing? <laughs> What's funny? Because he is still you. Lambert, he is still my husband. And the father of my son. If only you wait. Oh, please, please, not down. 
the plan now is to bring our children together to make them achieve what we could not achieve when we had the chance to. Please, let's stick to the plan. I'm only doing this for you. Left for me, you... Oh. I think we should reduce the frequency with which we see each other. People are seeing us. Very soon, tongue will begin to work. And I don't want anything to affect my marriage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why are you like this? <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Lambert. Esty. Mm -mm. I don't even want that. Esty. Mm -mm. Come here. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Come here. Come here. People are watching. Don't, Come here. Nobody's don't, watching. No, I'm not joking. It's don't cut. start. Hey, hey, hey. Come don't. Give don't. Me don't, don't, don't. Give me that. <laughs> Come on. You will never change. Hey. What you walking on? My... Can I help? No, there'll be no need for that. Um, I'm just... Hey, hey, hey. I thought we've gone past this stage. Yeah, so easy for you to say. Hey, come on. But I, I, I always apologized. Yeah. And they make the same mistake over and over again. Why? Why is, it, why is it so difficult to please you? Why? Wow. Really? Yes. What am I going to do to fit into this your big world? There he goes again. Blaming me for everything. Go ahead and blame me. Yet I am the one who put in a lot in this relationship. I did my all to make this work. No, 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 you are the one blaming me for everything, whereas you have your own fair share. You know what, Henry? Just leave. Go. You see? You see? There you go again. Overreacting. Well, since you don't want to leave, you can sit. When you're tired, please shut the door behind you. See, um, Br Bridget, why don't we just tolerate each other just for our parents' sake? Please. Bridget. I don't have any package with me. You need not to bother about that. Let me tell you what happened. You, know? you need not to bother about that. I and Chief already spoke about it. What? You and Chief already spoke about And you left me there waiting for him like a lost ship. Wait, oh, Mama. Mama, why do I feel like. You didn't just send me to Chief Lambert's house for the sole purpose of getting you that person. Come on. Why do you sound so hungry? Are you telling me you didn't enjoy your time with Bridget? Oh, 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 nice one. Nice one, Mama. And I naively went there thinking it was because of your parcel. I should have known better now. Is it not you again? Bridget is a beautiful, loving, intelligent girl. What is there not to like about her? Tell me. I thought both of you are, are, are getting along so well. So what happened? Mama, we were, we were always having misunderstandings. We were always having misunderstandings. And Bridget is a little bit uptight. And we don't belong in the same social status. And Mama, it will be very difficult to fit into the shoe that her father, her, her, her father has left. Am I sensing a cold feet? <laughs> don't mind me. Listen, you and Bridget can work something out. Eh? You just need to try. Both of you can work something out. Mama, please, let's talk about something else. 
I really like Bridget. Eh? Bridget, he's a well mannered young girl. Listen, my son. Love grows with time. I know this as a mother. And I'm being honest with you. Give it a try. Is that coming back today? Well, don't change the topic. Mama, as you can see, I am tired. I need to take off my clothes, go have my bath, and rest. I have work to do, okay? Henry, Ma? don't walk out on me. I am still talking. Sorry, Mom. I'm not in the mood to talk about this right now. Henry, do you know you're being rude to me right now? No, well, let me even call Dad and ask him if he's coming back today. Henry, do you know you're being rude to me right now? I am talking to you and you walk. Hello, Dad! <sighs> I'm really very sorry, my love. Do you know I had to cut short my meeting with my clients just for me to get home on time? But I still got stuck in the traffic. I heard you've not had your dinner. You're obviously waiting for me, right? No, I'm not hungry. Um, Dad, I'll, I'll, I'll be there. That is uh, what we do for each other now. Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> it actually gladdened my heart when your call came through, you know. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, uh -uh. Uh, uh -uh. Mm. Bree, Bree. It's my sunshine. Dad, I didn't know you'd be back so soon. Good afternoon, Uncle Festus. Uh, hi, Bree. How are you doing? I'm okay. Uh, you haven't come around to say hi in a long time. I, I, I'm sorry, I've just been overwhelmed with a couple of things, that's all. I understand. I understand. Yeah, but I hope you remember that in case you need anything. And I mean anything at all. Or your father here is giving you a hard time. Remember that I am always here. Yeah, sure. Okay. I'll be in the kitchen. Okay. Is uh, Bridget okay? She doesn't seem to, you know. No, she's okay. She's fine. Uh, well, if you say so. Uh, but the Bridget I know, I mean, immediately she came in, she would have run into your arms, giving you a yeah. hug, but, but she didn't do any of that. <laughs> Children of this day, I know what she's looking for. Uh, Meanwhile, how is Chichi? When was the last time she came home? Uh, well, about... Uh, Two weeks ago, you know, these marine engineers, mm. two weeks onshore, one week offshore, mm. you know, and, and it's really been so lonely, you know, I mean, I, sometimes I come back home from business meetings to an empty house, I, I mean, just, just you know, manage. Yeah. So what are you expecting of me right now? Hmm? I have told you, go and remarry. Here you are complaining of loneliness. You never started. I have told you. Go and remind me. Give it a thought. Mm -hmm. Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you, eh? You try. <laughs> Please, just allow me to recover from the one I just got out of first. Before you start, allow me to dive back into it. After all, I'm not too old to, to enter this uh, enterprise anytime am I. Mm. Mm. But you have to learn to leave your past behind. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All you want to do now is to keep chasing money. Ah, money. Brother. <laughs> now my brother, chase the money. Chase money. So that the money will not chase you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Very important. Very, very important. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Sunshine. <clears throat> How are you doing? Good. How are you coping with Henry? Dad, please, can we not talk about Henry? 
We can't even have a simple conversation without misunderstanding. I told you, we just don't click. Give it time. Room was not built in a day. I've said this to you times without number. Was that the reason you pulled the stunt you pulled the other day? Huh? You think I'm a baby? I want the best for you. Henry is not the best for me and he will never be. How dare you raise your voice at your father? Listen to me. I can't keep babysitting you. You and Henry have to sit down and talk things through. I am done babysitting you. Enough of your flimsy excuses and stupid stories. You dare not walk out on me and your father! Come on! Come on! So? What is it? Get out! My apology, sir. Sir, you, you look exasperated. Would you love a glass of water, please? You get out of this place! Get out! Get out! Bridget. Uncle Pesas, what is surprise? Good morning. Yes, uh, how are you doing? I'm good. Dad is inside. He's preparing for a meeting. Yes, I know. I, uh, but uh, do you mind if I talk to you for a minute? Okay. I, I don't mind. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. What I mean is, is there something bothering you? I'm good. Okay, because it's uh, it's just that I've uh, noticed um, that you've been a bit withdrawn these past few days. I mean, you're no longer the happy, bubbly Bridget that I've always known. It's, it's nothing. I'm good. Okay. Well, in case there's anything, you know I'm only a call away. Welcome, ma'am. Oh, gosh, what am I doing to myself? Is everything okay? I can't keep doing this. I told that. I Can told I... that we don't click. I told him. Can I run you a bath? What am I doing? Can I serve you dinner? Listen! I am fine! Can I get you tea? A pot of coffee. What, what are they? Oh, mom, please, let's not even go there. I've tried all my best to make this relationship work, and it's not working, mom. is a good girl and you are my a friend. good boy i know that's what you want to say a good boy i know mom i like bridget but it's not working we don't click we don't understand each other you've always asked me to try and i've tried it mama it's not working and if you ask bridget she'll say the same thing too we don't understand each other mom see the way you're choking me with this issue is it's frustrating me i'll not lie I am not frustrating you, Henry. A mother wanting the best for her son is what you call frustration. Mom, please, don't, don't change the subject. Don't deviate from the subject, please. I am not deviating. You practically said that. You said I'm frustrating you. Just now. Okay, Mom, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but Mom, ever since this arrangement started, I've done everything you asked me to do. I've done your buildings, even though I, I don't want to do them, even though it's, it's against my wish, but I just want to make you happy and I'm doing them. But mom, it's not working. But mom, I, I think it's time I start taking my own decisions. 
in regards to who I fall in love with and eventually get married to. Mom, I'm I'm no longer a, a, a child, though. Henry, please, give it one more try. Please, I want the best for you. And if I can remember, you told me you like her. Not just once, a couple of times. So why can't you just put more effort? Mom, I know I told you I liked that. So? Mom, I still like Bridget. Hey, hey, so that is good enough. You start from there. No doubt. Mom, she, Bridget is amazing. She's beautiful. She's intelligent. But that is not what makes a relationship, Mom. That's not what keeps a relationship or a friendship. Liking somebody or being attracted to that person doesn't keep a relationship. Mom, you've been married to dad for so many years. You should know this now. You should know this. <sighs> Henry, please. Please. I want the best for you. I'm your mother. You should trust me on this. Please. I just want you to just, just, just put more effort. Please. Mom, mom, the amount of pressure that you're giving to me because of this issue is too much. I can't take it any longer. Yes, I love Bridget, but mom, we don't click. We don't work and this relationship is not going to work. Thank you, mom. Henry! Henry! What is wrong with these kids of the state? You don't even know when they want the best for you. You all just get up and you want this your way. Let me even come. Please get up. Hey, hey. Stay back. Stay back. Do you mind explaining to me what happened today? I'm listening. All I have ever done is make you happy. No, Dad, let's rephrase that. All I have ever done is make you happy. I've never disrespected you or disobeyed you. I put my dreams on hold just to see that yours comes to reality. But what do I get? That you treat me like a puppet. A puppet that you can control. Ever since you met Henry and his mother at the supermarket, you've turned into something I no longer recognize. You belittle me at every chance you get. You control me. Every aspect of my being, you control me. That if mom were to be alive today, you think she'd be happy with the way you treat me? I've bottled this up for so long and now it's time for me to speak up. I'm tired! I'm tired. Bless him! Bless him! Sir! Go after Bridget immediately. Make sure nothing happens to her. Yes, sir. What are you doing? Which, which way did she follow? Come here. Go after the Bridget. You need to be Okay, sir. On it. On it, sir. Make sure nothing happens to her. Yes. I just need someone to talk to. Lambert. That is out of the question. Yes, that is out of the question. He's the reason why we decided to bring our kids together. I love you, Stella. 
getting our children to get married. Do you think it's a good idea? Of course it's a good idea. It's either that or we stop seeing each other. No, 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 I don't like the sound of that. I cannot afford not to see you again. I won't be able to leave you if that happens. I am sorry. Hello? Hello? Looking back, I never saw this coming back. Here I am. Should I go? Should I stay? Mm -hmm. All around, it's a feeling so strong and I can't hold back. So good, I'm not alone. so beautiful to see that the heart stays where it truly belongs no matter what he lifts my heart he lifts my soul my everything you're all It's really good to exercise these old bones once in a while. Ah, ah, babe, speak for yourself. My bones are not old, okay? I'm still young and bubbly. <laughs> At 60, who is feeding you with those guys? Ah, see this one, am I as old as you? <laughs> I beg, how is Bree? Bree is fine. She's fine. Is everything okay between both of you? Hmm? Though she's not been talking to me for, for some time now, I don't know why. What happened? What are you trying to say? Nothing serious, you know, young girls and their... <sighs> See, just take care of Brie for me. Eh? Make her happy. Because you cannot afford to lose that precious gem for any reason. Lambert, do better. Because I know you are the cause. Wait, wait, wait. I need to get what? something. Wait. What? You're already taking sides. Ah. <laughs> Don't worry. Chichi will soon come home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I beg you. So, you and your Brie. Eh. Chichi and I. Eh, no, uh -huh. no, Allah. You're my friend. I know that it is you that caused it. Mm. Anyway, uh, don't forget. Club meeting by eight. All right. All right, bro. Cheers. <sighs> I've tried everything. I don't know. You know, sometimes I feel like there's more to this Henry stuff than I can comprehend. Because that is really not like this. He's never really treated me like this before. Until now. I feel so invisible in that house. I just, mm. I'm tired. <laughs> My Bree. Uncle Faye's Bridget. <laughs> See, there's nothing for you to worry your pretty little head over. Hmm? If there is anything, and I mean anything that you feel like talking about, I'm here. Why can't that be like him? Why can't he listen to his only child? Why? It's okay. Um, I'll talk to him. No. No, no, no. Mm -mm. It's going to make matters worse. I, I know my dad. No. It's all right. It's all right. Look, everything is going to be fine. Hmm? Aren't you going to pick that? I don't want to talk to him. It's okay. Hmm? Everything is going to be fine. Hmm? You were home all day doing nothing. And here you are, standing before me to tell me that you do not know where she is. I'm sorry, sir. I swear to God, she didn't inform me before she left the house. I, I even called her severally, and she's yet to pick my calls nor return them. Oh my God, it, it, 
it's late. Sasa, so, so it's late. So I promise you, she's going to be back very soon. Bless it. Sir. Go and look for Bridget. And do not come back here without her. Hey. Ha. So where do I look for her? I, I, I do not. You are asking me that? I do not have an idea where she is. Hey. That's a good Dad, I took a walk in the estate. A walk in the estate? For how long? You know I... what, scratch that. I called you a number of times. You did not pick my call. Oh, my phone was on mute and it, it was in my pocket. I didn't hear it ring. Hmm. Interesting. Ray. Yes, Dad. Please, any time you feel like leaving this house, put us in the know. Or you can talk to Blessing about it. Yes, Dad. And uh, you said you wanted to talk to me about something. It's not important, Dad. I forgot. Lady, yeah, you have a delivery. Wow, thank you. May I take my leave now? Yeah, sure. Do we have here? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. 
We shouldn't be seeing each other like this. Yes. I am a married woman and I have a reputation to protect. I wanted us to talk. Then you should have called me. Yeah. What do we do? My daughter is gradually slipping away from me. What do we do? Maybe we should stop the quest then. Yes. And lose every chance at seeing you at will? I cannot do that. What would you want me to do? The kids don't love each other. What do you want me to do? I have lost you once and I'm not going to lose you again. No, but please stop. Stop. Let's try one more time. Let's keep trying. You know I can take care of you way better than that husband oh, of yours. Oh, please, Lambert. Don't insult my husband again, I am, please. I am not. I'm just stating the fact. All the years I spent with my, with my late wife practically meant nothing to me. I only stuck with her because of my, because of my daughter, Bridget. Even while we were together, I, I couldn't stop thinking about Lambert, you. Stop, stop, stop. Stop making me feel guilty. Stop. I still stand on what I've been telling you all this while. Please, I can leave George. We may not have a lot of money right now, but can't you see? He loves me. He's taking care of me. He's trying his best. But, there is a but. But what? You're just jealous? <laughs> Please stop. All around. It's a feeling so strong and I can't hold back So good I'm not alone It's so beautiful to see That the heart stays where it truly belongs No matter what My everything, you're all that I want, all that I have, I'll give and more, because I love you. always make it a priority to be there for me. Because you're like a daughter to me. You're like my little princess. Why did they leave? Who? Your ex-wives. years of my life. My uh, perception to marriage and women uh, generally changed. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for trying to open old ones. You don't have to answer. You don't have to say anything, okay? You're a good man, Uncle Festus. And any woman would be so happy to have you as a husband. I really like you a lot, Bridget. I, I really think you should pick that.
I would like us to talk. Um, Dad, please, not now. I, I have a meeting by 9 a.m. I'm behind schedule. I just come back later. I won't take your time. <sighs> Lately, I have not been that loving father that you used to know. And I've come to say sorry. Okay, I want us to I want us to be, you know, get back the way we used to be. Be that loving daughter, my sunshine that you've always been. And you to take me back as that father that you used to love. I came bearing gifts. Come on. Dad? Uh. Hi. I, I I didn't know you were around. Uh yes, uh Titi uh, I didn't know you were coming today. Oh yeah? Daddy? Daddy, she's too young. And her father will never let this happen. I didn't see it going this far myself. You know, Bri has always been like a daughter to me. I mean, you know that. Daddy, I do not see anything positive coming out of this venture. Proud to the father, you have two fake marriages. Daddy, you are 60. And she's what? 25? Please, don't remind me. Daddy, I've known Bridget since she was what? 10? But I just think this age thing is... Dad, this can't work. But she makes me happy. I know. I see it in your eyes, Daddy, but who will believe you? Who? Daddy, I don't want you to be sad, okay? Now see, you didn't even miss me. You didn't even welcome me properly. You've not seen me for three weeks. She has not entered the house. She's taking my place. You didn't miss me. Come on, my angel. Come <laughs> over here. Mm. Mm. I love you, Daddy. Because I missed you. you no sure? one can never take your place. Are you sure? Mm? Mm? Wait. Why didn't you even tell me that you were coming? I wanted to surprise you, door. <laughs> I miss you. I miss you too, darling. I love you. I love you too. Mm. Looking back, 
I never saw this coming back Here I am Should I go? Should I stay? Mm. All around It's a feeling so strong and I Can't hold back So good I'm not alone It's so beautiful to see That the heart stays where it truly belongs No matter what He lifts my heart He lifts my soul My yeah. So this song, number seven mm. That is the same one I was trying to call your attention to Yes, I was looking at that too. Uh, yeah. I was going to suggest. Oh, sunshine. Hey there. Baby. Hey. How are you? I'm okay. I will be now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, don't drown yourself with work, okay? Try and take your lunch. Hmm? So, um,. Number seven. Yes, yes, number seven. Yes. Um <clears throat> I will uh I will I will go through it again, then make suggestions as to how we can um <clears throat> Okay. Uh, it's very important to Yes. My dad has not really been himself since that day. <sighs> he said he doesn't reply his messages or take his calls. I'm sorry. He has had two failed marriages. Has a craziest wife. He's above 50. And is your father's best friend. Do you think your father will give his consent? I just want you to think well. Are you ready for this drama? You don't really need to ask her now. Just take your time. Analyze what you are about to go into. Left for me, I would say you are too young for my father. But on the other hand, my father is an amazing man. He needs an amazing girl like you, Bridget. My father is crazily in love with you. So because of that small thing I witnessed that day, you didn't even come to say hi to me. I just didn't know how to fix you. Oh, <laughs> but Bri, you're my girl. You've always told me before doing anything or making any decision. So, what's special? Hmm? <laughs> Please. Call my father. Pick his call. Why he my father is worried, please. Okay. Sure? You call him? Just come <laughs> over to the house so you guys can have the talk, have a conversation. I just want my father back. Okay? Promise? Yes, dear. How do you know when you love someone? Hmm. Love is a beautiful thing. I remember the very first time I fell in love. Those were the 
best days of my life. When you love someone, you will discover that you are interested in everything and anything that has to do with them. You would always want to be around them on a daily basis. All you would see is a future, a blissful future. Nobody can change what you feel for them. Um, Dad, um, is it possible to be unsure about something when you love someone? Yes, I was unsure of a whole lot of things. Why do you ask? Dad, I always want to talk to you about a lot of things, but I don't know. You've just been so distant and somewhat unavailable and it hurts me because Dad, I really love you and you're one person that I feel should always have my back. But I just... My sunshine, I'm really very sorry for everything that's happened. I promise never to try to force anyone on you, henceforth. Promise? Cross my heart. All right, Dad. I'll, I'll be home. Bree. Dad? Are you in love with someone? I think I am, Dad. Bring him home then. Really? <laughs> All right. <laughs> <sighs> Amazing. I love you too. say anything I just want to say that I'm sorry I, I know we got off on the wrong foot but the truth is you're really an amazing person <clears throat> Henry I actually didn't call you here to play the blame game no I'm not blaming you for anything I too had a part to play in all of this I mean, for a relationship to work, two parties must come together to strive to make it work. So, no, I'm not blaming you. I only called you here so we can be on the same page, that's all. Okay. Fair enough. Um, well, I know I have not really showed you how much I care about you, man. But the truth is, I, I really do care about you. Um, this past few weeks has been hell without you. And I want to say that you are the best thing that's happened to me in recent time. I don't really know how to say this, but the truth is, I love you. I really do, and I want you to give us the last chance. 
away from the prying eyes of our parents and the last chance for me to make it right by us. And the last chance to... Henry, I don't understand what you're saying to me. I mean, the last I checked, I was the one who did everything to make this relationship work. I gave it my all. I gave it way too many chances. But Henry, the truth is, we just don't click. Because you, on the other hand, you treated me like trash. You, you belittled me, Henry. So I'm confused. What are you saying? Why now? What changed? What happened? Anyways, um, like I said, I am not here to, you know, blame you for anything. I, I only called you here so we can end things amicably without grudges, okay? I just... The truth is... I'm in love with someone else, Henry. I found love. And I'm ready, I'm willing to give love a chance this time and... I hope you understand. What about our... If it's about our parents, don't worry about it, Henry. I'm sure they will eventually come to respect our decision. Wow. You're a good man and you'll find someone better. She deserves all the love and happiness too. I'm sorry. Naughty girl. <laughs> The money plug himself. Yeah. Love, love. What's going on? <laughs> Look at you laughing and chatting like a little child. Mm. I've asked you to tell me, who is this new woman that's making you so happy? <laughs> the lamb himself. <laughs> Look, let us forget about all these phone matters. Hmm? After all, am I too old to find love again? You are not. Not at all. <laughs> Have I not been the one advising that you get a woman? I mean, <laughs> since Simba left, <laughs> No woman in your life. Come on, it's about time. <laughs> My brother. <laughs> Look at this guy. So tell me, who is this unlucky woman? Ah. Uh, Lam Lam. You know any woman that I fall in love with can never be unlucky. Yet you have two <laughs> failed marriages. Ah. I know you more than you know yourself. Mm. Then you do not know me at all. Let's not argue. Let's not argue. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go up Lam Lam. Funny. Oh my god, social media is such a crazy place. Look, look what he's doing. You see? <laughs> it's true. What's wrong? He's been really distant since this morning. Is everything okay? Bri, I'm worried. What's wrong? Uncle Faye, you know you can always talk to me, right?
And I'm old enough to be your father. What are you saying? I mean, I think we're moving too fast, Sunshine. Look, look fine, I agree. I led you on, okay? But I don't think this is going to work. You don't think it's going to work? Sunshine. Okofe, if it's about my daddy, you don't have, you have nothing to worry about. Listen, I will talk to him. I'm very sure he's going to agree. He's going to respect my decision. You don't... I'm sorry. I love you. Very much as a matter of fact, but I just think we need to stop seeing each other before it becomes too difficult for us to stay apart from each other. <laughs> All the moments that we shared means nothing to you. I mean nothing to you. That's not what I meant. What about the promises you made to me? All the times that you made me feel safe in your arms. What about what we share? You promised, you promised you would never hurt me, that you'd be there for me. I thought I could trust you. I never meant to make you cry. You're the first man I ever loved. Thank you for awakening the love in me. You had no plans to nurture it. Thank you. No. Uh, Bri. Bri, wait. Bri, let's talk. Bri, come, let's talk about this. Bri, come, come back. Bri! So these are all the documents that they are going to be needed. Senator Fordy will be waiting by 12 p.m. Okay. Um, like I said, Chukudi will be on his way to the bank first thing tomorrow morning. Great. And we'll take it off from there. Are you sure you don't want a drink? It's already late. I have to go sort these things out. Okay. It's all right. Was Bridget here? Uh, no. Did you send her here for something? I could swear this belongs to her. Uh, oh, <laughs> that. Um, uh, Chichi must have uh, forgotten it when she left this morning. Yes. Looks exactly like the designer's necklace I bought for her on her 25th birthday last year. Mm. Well, I'm sure it just resembles the one you got for her. <laughs> All right, I have to. I have to run. Okay. Okay. So just keep me posted. All right. Mm. Um, and uh, my regards to Bree. Sure. Well, she has forgotten me, Avi. <laughs> Bridget that has tons of projects in her hands. Mm. I'm sure she did not. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Sir, I, I napped away. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Welcome, sir. Is my daughter home? Mm -hmm. Yes, Chief. Yes, yes, sir. She's home. Is there any problem? Uh, she, 
Talk to me. Sir, she's in her room. Sir. Can me you talk? Sir. My lady came back in the afternoon and she locked herself up in her room. I've been knocking countless times. She's refused opening the door for me. So I think she's crying. I still don't understand what you're doing here. I mean, you can't continue to do this. It's either you're in or you're out. You're not a toy or a puppet you can just control. Yes, I know you're way older than I am, but I am an adult and I can make my own decisions. <clears throat> oh, but I've got feelings. You didn't even hear me out. What's the point? What's the point of hearing you out? Are you no longer way older than I am? Or is my father no longer your friend? Or haven't you been married twice before? Like, what do you want from me? Look. I can't function without you. Okay? And, and, and the, the thought that you're even angry at me makes it even worse. I was ready. I was ready to fight for us, but it's obvious that you never meant it when you said you love me. I see, see, just just calm down and let, let's talk about this. Look, I, I can't live without you. Just go. Get out and never come back. Wait, see. Get out! Breathe! See, breathe, calm down. Look, we, we can't we can't let it end like this. Without you, breathe. Don't ask me to just go. Don't. Okay. Okay. She says you should go. I heard her. I saw the entire neighborhood. I'm sorry, sir. Thank you. I'm just trying to be of service, sir. Service key you there. Ma'am? Are you okay? Ma'am? Do you want something? Can I get you tea? Coffee? Water? 
I know I promised I was not going to talk about or ask you anything about your relationship. But I just want to know, what about Henry? Do you people still talk? He's fine, Dad. He's I know. I mean, do Dad, you... Dad, we are not seeing each other. Oh. Dad, can I ask you a question? Oh, sure. Um, <clears throat> are you and Uncle Festus really close? Like... <laughs> you know that already, so... Oh, okay. What is he like? Is he a nice person? I mean, behind closed doors, is he like a monster? Or is he really nice? Like... <laughs> if I didn't know better, I would say you're checking my friend out. <laughs> <laughs> um... Anyways. Festus. Um... Festus is a good man, simply put. It's just that he's been unlucky when it has to do with women. You know, uh, his first wife, Lucy, and the second one, Ma, came with evil agenda. And the whole thing took so much toll on him that he avoids situations or occasions where men are required to come with their wives. As a matter of fact, he has decided to remain single for the remaining days of his life. That's how bad it is. Wow. Hmm. No wonder I don't see him with anyone else but you. <laughs> you talk as if you know him on a close level apart from him coming around. <laughs> No, I'm just, you know, <laughs> I've not really heard about his escapades and whenever he's here, he's here alone, not with He doesn't anyone. even have any. He doesn't have escapades. So what about the project? How how have you been coping? Oh, that is coming out well. Mm, that's my goal. Milady, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you sent for me. Um, yeah, glass of juice. Okay, ma'am. So, tea, coffee, water, juice, scotch then. I'm okay, good. Are you sure, sir? Water then. Okay, water, it's good. Juice for you, ma'am. Coming through. I called your phone several times, but it was switched off. So? Bridget, I, I thought we were cordial. <laughs> we are. See, I can't stop thinking about you. I, I know I, I, I was a fool for, for, for letting you go the last time, but, but please, I, I'm sorry, forgive me. I, I want you back and I promise I'm not going to lose you again. Henry, we agreed Listen, to... Listen, I just find myself thinking about you every single day. This is not what we agreed on and you know it. I know, but I, I am sorry I can no longer keep up with the promise. And I know you gave me several chances and I blew them all. But please, I'm asking you for this last chance. Please just, just find a place in your heart and just give me this last chance. Please, I promise you, I, I will not hurt you. Please. Dad put you up to this as usual. What? Dad put... Why would you even think that... Oh, come on. See, please, I beg you. Listen, Henry. I am Bridget, sorry. Please, I... it is really hard for me to function without you. Please. Ah! I'm in love with another. You're, you're in love with another. You're in love with that old man that is that is old enough to be your grandfather. There he goes again. 
You know what? Get out. Bridget, I'm I'm sorry. Henry, get out! Go! I'm sorry. Lee, get out! Who's this not? Who? Oh. My. Mr. Henry. Milady wants you to get out. Please. Miss Pri wants you to get out. Please. Get out, please. Thank you, sir. You're such a gentleman. Ah, the money magnet. My friend, my friend. <laughs> you, you didn't tell me you were coming. Uh, yeah. uh, okay, it's it's it's, it's even good. Um, ah, please sit, 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 sit. <laughs> How come you never told me you were coming to my house? <laughs> Could it be that today is the presentation day for the contract from Hector Global? No. My, my secretary already told me the date. Anyways, it's good you're here. Because we are going to witness something very special to <laughs> Yes. Um, <coughs> Bri, I, I was told your fiancé is here already. <coughs> so, go bring him. I'm sure Chief Festus will also want to see him. <coughs> Dad. Yes? This is my fiance. <laughs> this must be some kind of joke. What are you saying? You're joking, right? I'm dad. I'm not. Dad, he loves me and he cherishes me. And I. You I love him and you cherish him too. And you have the guts to, 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 to say this nonsense before me. Uh, please, if you can just hear us out. Today is not a proof, is it? This must be some kind of prank, right? No, Dad, it's not. Anyways, um, when you guys are through with the prank, I'll be my Lamp! Daddy! This, this, this wasn't going to last. I, I, I knew this relationship was a disaster waiting to happen. So what are you trying to do? Are you trying to give up on us? I can't. I, I can't leave my treasure. Yeah, my life, my love, my everything. Then let us fight. Let us fight to protect that which belongs to us. Our love. Please, please don't cry. You know I hate it when you cry. I don't know why dad is doing this. Since Harry came into the picture, he's just he's turned into something else. Look, your dad loves you a lot, okay? He just he just wants the best for you. I have never been loved by any man the way you love me. I don't want anything to happen to our love. And I, I promise never to leave you. Are you expecting anyone today? No. Even the domestic staff are not coming in today.
let me make it clear to you for the last time. You are not permitted to leave this house for any reason. If you need anything ranging from groceries to toiletries, let me know and I'll provide them myself. Am I understood? Dad, are you grounding me? I'm not a kid. I'm 25. You cannot ground me, Dad. You can't treat me like this. Let me have your phone. What? No. I can't give you my phone, Dad. I need it for what? I, I need my phone. Let me have your phone. Give it to me. Give me your phone. Stupid girl. <laughs> Just a minute. <clears throat> hey, babe. You okay? What's the matter? What's wrong? It's daddy. What happened? Why is he trying to frustrate our love? Like he's trying to frustrate us and I will not let him. Um. Try not to get upset, okay? You, you know, when you get upset, it affects me as well. Hmm? Um, then, I was also thinking that, why don't you just go home and try and, you know, reason with your dad. You know, I, I, I don't want you doing anything against his will. You understand? What? What are you saying? So what I want doesn't matter? No, no, that's, that's not what I said. Why do I feel like I'm the only one interested in this relationship? Why do you always leave me to do all the fighting alone? No, no, it's not like that. Have you been lying to me? Do you really love me? Of course I do. Why would you even ask me that? You know what? Let's, okay, let's just forget about this. Let's, let's, I, I don't want you getting more upset, okay? I'm sorry. Hmm? Okay, just calm down. Do you, do you want something to drink? Are you sure? Sorry. Where are you coming from? Um... Uncle, you dare disobey me. All I want is what's best for you. And Festus is nothing close to that. But Dad, he's a good man. You said that yourself. You will never marry him. Never. That is my choice. You will never marry him. And that's fine now. I love him! I love him! I don't marry him! Come back! Where are you? Come!
one in my angel. Yes, I am. I had to make breakfast for the most beautiful girl in the world. Mm -hmm. Aww, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So I, I have an appointment. Okay, so I have a meeting for nine, and it's already quarter to nine. So I need to be on my way. Aren't you gonna have breakfast with me? I won't be able to. I guess what? We'll have dinner together later. Hmm? Okay. Okay. Good. So um, take care of yourself, and if you need anything, don't okay. hesitate to call. All right, so the domestic staff will resume by 10. They have your number, so they'll call you once they get to the gate. All right, so if, uh, what else, what else, what else? Just be a good girl, I remember? All around, it's a feeling so strong and I can't I hold back. I love you too. So good, I'm not alone. I will get you something on my way back. Hmm? I miss you. It's so I'll miss beautiful you too. to see. That the heart stays where it truly belongs No matter what He lifts my heart He lifts my soul My every being You're all that I want All that I have I'll give and more because I love you. What are you doing here? You pretentious snake. You call yourself my friend? Yet you go behind my back to molest my daughter. Oh, come on, you know I will never do that. You know me better than that. I don't know you. You're a pretentious viper. I let you into my home, into my business. What did you do? You took away what I treasure the most. Bring back my daughter in one piece. Else, I will send the authorities against you. Oh, come on, Lambert. Let's sit down and talk about this. I mean, let's be civil. Did I hear you say civil? You tried with your mates twice and you failed. Now you've resorted to, 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 to underage girls. Vulnerable underage girls. I never knew you were a pervert. Yes, you were a pervert looking for young girls to take advantage of. But let me tell you something. Bridget cannot be added to that number. Bring back my daughter before night falls. Else, I will send you out of this town like a madman. Lambert, stop talking like this. Stop Lambert, let's talk this through now. Lambert! Lamb! I'm so sorry for making you believe that you're the only one in this relationship all this while. I've long dreaded being in another relationship ever since my failed marriages. But I do not want to lose you. Okay? And coming into this house and not seeing you is something that, that I dread thinking about. I have found a treasure that I will guard with everything I own. So, don't give up on us. No matter what. Because mm? what I have in my heart is nothing but genuine love for you. I would never leave you, Uncle Faye. I, I love you. And I will never hurt you. I promise. And when are you going to stop calling me Uncle Faye? 
<laughs> I knew you would say that. <laughs> he would always be my uncle. Hey. What have I done wrong? Have I not been a good father to her? All I wanted was the best. What is it that he's doing for Bridget that I have not done? Why would Bridget spite me in this manner? Why? How long have you been standing there for? Long? No. I just got here, sir. You dare not lie to me. Sir, I tell no lies at all. I just got here, sir. Sit down. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Don't be scared. Just sit. Relax, relax, okay? I'm quite relaxed, sir. Don't get nervous. Hey, take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. In, in, in. Out, drop it, drop it. In, drop it, drop it. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Are you calm? Are you calm? So, what was the meaning of the distress call? And now this? What's going on? Ma'am, I'm not going back to the house anymore. I can't. Why? Milady, Chief has been acting strange since you left the house. I don't know what is wrong with him. I don't understand. How so? I'm afraid I do not understand either, ma'am. Please, you need to come back. No, I am not going back to that house until Daddy learns to respect and listen to me. Milady, please don't do this. Your father misses you so much. He has not been the same since you left the house. Are you going to go in or you want to go back to where you're coming from? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm staying here with you. Every morning, he writes her a love note and drops it by her bedside. There is a saying that no matter how old a woman is, a love note on her bedside every morning will set the tone for the day. It's so beautiful to see that the heart stays where it truly belongs. Good morning, ma'am. 
kufe awaits you. Every day, Uncle Faye makes it a duty to cook with her and for her on most mornings. He feeds her too. I mean, who doesn't like to be treated and pampered like a baby? Oh, look how beautiful their love is. It's so beautiful to see that the heart stays where it truly belongs. No matter what, he lifts my heart, he lifts my soul, my every being. You're all that I want, all that I have, I'll give and more, because I love you. Give me hope that I never thought I deserved. You give me another chance at love that I never thought I would ever find again. 
having you as mine for the rest of my life is the greatest gift that I can ever get. So, my lovely Bree, will you make me the happiest man alive by agreeing to be my wife? Will you marry me? Yes. Yes? I will. Yes? Yes. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> oh <my God>. ah. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> Listen, you're back. Yes, ma'am. Hope you got everything. Yes, ma'am, I did. Okay. Is there a problem? What is that? It's for you, ma'am. For me? Yes, ma'am. From who? I do not know, ma'am. I saw it um, at the doorstep when I came in. Hey. Don't tell me my fiancé got me. I'm afraid, ma'am. I don't think it's from your fiancé. Then who's it from? I'm sorry, ma'am. I have no clue. I didn't hear any knock at the door. Are you sure it's safe to open this? There's a note. My greatest gift and most beautiful treasure. I wonder what life would have been if you weren't my baby girl. I would always love and cherish you, my sunshine. I love you. Dad? What? The same gift my fiancé got me? What's going on? How did he know? I have no clue, ma'am. Ma'am, if it's not a bother, can I go back to the kitchen? <sighs> Thank you, baby. Called and said the police came to take you away for questioning. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to bother you, but uh, I just needed to let you know my whereabouts. Are you okay? Did, did it touch you? Huh? I'm fine. I'm, I'm okay. I, my lawyer came almost immediately, and I also spoke to the DPO, so he didn't allow anybody to harass me. Thank God. Mm, it's okay. I'm so sorry. Why is Daddy doing this to me? Why? Why would he accuse you of kidnapping? Did you kidnap me? <laughs> I'm here on my own volition. Why? I am an adult. Can't I make my own decisions? What is all this? It's fine, babe. It's fine. See, hey, hey. Maybe I don't like you crying. Hmm? 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 Welcome. Hmm? Welcome. Welcome, sir. It's fine. Hmm? Welcome, sir. You know I don't like you when you cry. I'm so sorry. I just... It's fine. It's fine. Welcome, sir. Would you get him something to drink or you go run in water to take his bath? Instead of standing there saying welcome. I'm really sorry, ma'am. I'm really sorry. It's okay. Calm down. No, I don't like you stressing yourself, right? Just let me a drink. Okay. Thank you. Okay, sir. I'll, I'll be with you shortly, sir. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Are you 
show you. Okay. I'm fine. Don't just have breakdowns and read it out. I'm fine. I'm good. I'm, I'm okay. I'm so worried. <laughs> it's okay. I'm fine. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, darling. I don't, no, I don't want you crying. Hmm? I'm fine. Really? Look at me. <laughs> No worry, your baby is back now. I think I'm not mad if, if, if you touch me. Preposterous. Uncle B. Oh. 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 Now you know your uncle. No worry, <laughs> small baby. Go outside there. Eh? Allow uncle and big baby eh, to do small things. When we finish, we will call you. Yeah? Excuse. Yeah? Uncle B, who the hell is this? I, I don't know her. I, 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 I don't know who she... Who the hell are you now? What did they talk like this now, she? Eh? Ah. You might because of success. No worry. You might because of success. You know me, I don't be jealous lover. Ah. Two of us, we they run out together. I'm not going to complain. Ah. Not be me and you again. Stop! Virginia! What? What is all this? See, I don't... What? I don't know who this person is. I don't what is going on there. I don't understand. Big. <laughs> Thank you, yeah? Bri, look, this is a setup. I don't know. I don't know. Come, come. Where did I? Because if they paid you to die, I will, I, I, I will, I will gladly help you. What? Lock that door. You mean Lock that door and make sure she does not go anywhere. Door? Can you imagine this rubbish? What the hell? Who are they going? You didn't call police? Oh, no, 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 don't no, worry. No, it's okay. You it's okay. Just, just make sure she does not go. Uh, I know risk like that. Hello? Make, make if she escapes. If she escapes. No. Okay. Okay. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. So she has, she has gone. Hello. Hello. Right. So, so that, that, there's a lady that is trying to escape from this escape, uh, estate. Okay. Don't let her. Yes. Don't let her. Immediately you see her. Let me know. Thank you. Thank you. If, if, if you move, if you move, I will leave you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Don't worry. By the time I come back, you come and explain to me how somebody entered my house, talk less of my my bedroom. Hmm? No, 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 I'm coming. Yes, yeah, sorry. Yes, yeah, sorry. I'm coming. You will speak out your phone now again by the time I'm done with you. Wait. Never do anything to hurt you. Especially not something this this callous. Look, even if nobody believes me, and you of all people should. And you are still lying. You're still telling lies. How <laughs> low can you go, Uncle Faye? How low? You 
got me to trust you. And now this? I wonder what more to expect from a man with multiple failed marriages and unable to keep a woman. Time to feed me. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So you cannot go a big one. <laughs> Jesus. Mm. With white mouth. Mm hmm. 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 Balance it for me. Mm-hmm. 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 You thirsty brat. Who is this? So you think you can take a man away from his wife and his two children? God will punish you. I will ask you for the very last time. Who are you and how did you get my number? You better enter what it is that you used to tell my husband. Hells, whatever happens to you, you take it like that. Because of you, Festus abandoned I and my two children here in the village. I ran off to stay with you. And I even heard you're having a small girl. Your mother would definitely be turning in her grave. <sighs> I don't want to curse you. Just release my husband. Else. Uh, hello? Ho what? Is Breathe. What? Who? Who was that now? Please hmm. now. Stop all this. Take it easy now. What are you? Call him, babe. Don't go now. You just try and be a little patient now, eh? What is it? Sorry, it's, it's nothing. Yeah, please, it's... don't go. See, wait, 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 wait. You know that you said that you would not not leave me, that you would never leave me, that you would always be by my side. Hmm? Yes, ma'am. I can call. I remember hearing you say that. I told you to always mind your business. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so Come sorry, ma'am. I apologize. Come I've been a fool for long. It ends today. Excuse me! Ma'am! Breathe! Breathe, wait now! Breathe! Ma'am! Breathe! Ma'am! I'm trying to explain to you that I'm. Ma'am, Uncle Fay is innocent! You know everything about all this! Yes! Uncle Fay is innocent, ma'am! Ma'am! Calm down, I can just, just hear me out now! Breathe! Uncle Fay is innocent, ma'am! Just ma listen to me at least now! Breathe! Ma'am! Oh! I see the party is complete now. Now can somebody tell me exactly what is going on here? I'm sorry. Okay, I I didn't want to lose you. Ma'am, I'm sorry. Chichi sent me to come and spy on you and Uncle Faye and report back everything to him. He threatened to, to lock me up. But when I came and, and they realized that Uncle Fe is so much in love with you, I stopped reporting back to him. And he threatened to lock me up. I'm sorry, ma'am, it, it's, it's not my intention. I, 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 I've been calling you since. You're not replying to any of my messages. You're not picking my 
Michael, what's going on? I have something important to tell you. Whatever it is you have to say, please keep it to yourself. I am not interested and do not call me again. And sweetheart, I have, I have some explanations to make. You paid a hooker to frame Faye up? You reported him to the police for kidnapping your 25-year-old daughter? You planted blessing here to spy on us. Madam, I'm sorry. Would you shut up? I am not done. You paid some actor to call and say she's married to Faye, the man I love, your best friend of many years. All for what? To ruin my happiness? To, to, to exert control over me? Or should we talk about the game you're playing with Henry and his mother? Ray, when your mother died, you became everything to me. I'm really very sorry for, for the selfish reasons behind all my acts. But I want you to know one thing. Everything that I have done is from the place of love. Lamb. Um, I can only imagine how hard it must be for you to see your friend fall in love with your daughter. I, I, I know it doesn't make any sense, but see, love is not supposed to. Now see, I, I never saw myself falling in love with Bree. I, I, I don't even see how it's going to end, but this is one thing I do see and one thing I do know for a fact. And it's that I do not see myself living my life without seeing this face every day. daughter can no longer visit her father. 
hapo fava Let's allow her to stretch, you know. And anyway, I'm in the mood for some scotch. Oh, that's mm -hmm. nice. <laughs> um, get us two glasses, okay? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Your new domestic staff is also called Blessed. You have no idea. Ah, my baby is awake. <laughs> Babe. Mm. Mm. Nice mm. one. Daddy. <laughs> How are my grandkids? How are you doing? How are they kicking? Mm -hmm. They actually think my womb is a Shaolin temple. <laughs> yeah, those are my boys. <laughs> Wait, um, isn't it confusing that both of you are very the same name? Oh, Blessing is actually a very popular name in my hometown. Wait, she's from your place. She's actually my cousin from my father's side. Hold up. So you're telling me that both of you bear the same first name and surname? I'm afraid so, sir. Isn't that a bit confusing? <laughs> I mean, I don't understand. Um, blessing. Oh, wow. Please go to the kitchen and get me the plate of um, pepper soup is on the burner. That's what I'm having for dinner. Right away, ma'am. Ah. <laughs> what in the British accent is going on? <laughs> Right, right away now. Like, seriously? Is that how they like do that or be like? Please, let's let's all sit down, please. <laughs> You're afraid to say, sir. I said how they do it. It's not it's more something. I beg sit down. We should be paying them in dollars. Hmm? Sit down, my brother. I'm supposed to sit with my wife. Nah. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. Don't 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 worry, don't be jealous. We don't share state, Abby. Eh, uh, no, I like it. Shapali. We don't share state. Shapali, shapali, shapali. Oh,